To be more accurate, Toki didn't have much of a problem with the river. It was Sambu, the one with the white tip on his tail, who most of the time was proving to be the leader when it came to dealing with trouble, who seized up when he was faced with even the most modest of streams. It was extraordinary to witness the strength of the bond between the brothers. Toki wouldn't dream of leaving Sambu behind. Instead, he made his way back as a bit of encouragement for Sambu. Their close relationship would be increasingly important as they began to live a wild existence. They could cooperate when it came to hunting and together they'd keep an eye out for danger. Toki's encouragement obviously helped because now Sambu finally plucked up the courage to have a go at crossing the stream and made a pig's ear of it. Toki showed him how it should be done. <laughs> 